Thanks for joining us here at PictureLine, your premier camera store. My name's Nick, and we're super excited to be joined today with Luis Navarro from Fuji to talk about the just barely announced uh, new 50 millimeter 1.0. Luis, how are you doing today? I'm doing terrific, and I'm excited about the new lens we just announced. I think people are waiting for this for some time, especially for folks who want this uh, new style of lens. Yeah, 50 millimeters uh, at, at 1.0 really is, is quite, quite amazing. Uh, it puts Fuji definitely into a unique category of manufacturers that have offered a lens with such speed. Um, obviously, the big feature is going to be you know, a super shallow depth of field and really low light shooting capabilities. Uh, what, can, what can you tell us a little bit about the design features on this lens that are going to make it just amazing for, for those types of uh, uses? Well, for this camera, I mean, sorry, this lens, it's a very, you know, astonishing, uh, very thin uh, depth of field for people who want to be very selective focus, especially if you, they are just focusing on the subject's eyes. Uh, that's going to be just really good for separating the background. Uh, just giving you a better look and feel of the lens. Um, for, you know, the style of the lens is great for portraits, um, editorial design uh, for you know, shooting uh, low light ability. Uh, so it was looking at every aspect for this design to use, especially for uh, under low light. Yeah, obviously uh, low light shooting is going to be a, a big thing for people um, with this lens and uh, Fuji is no stranger to, to high end optics. I would assume that even at F1, this is still going to be a, a pretty phenomenally good lens. Oh, uh, yes. You know, so it's designed for any type of condition in low light near darkness, uh, especially for folks who want to work with a faster shutter speed, allows you the ability to freeze your subjects. Uh, also for keeping your ISO very low to keep that nice, uh, really rich details. Um, also, I think for a lot of astrophotographers who like to do deep sky photography, at one point now, they could definitely pick up more stars, more of the Milky Way uh, with us at 1.0, uh, gathering more light. Uh, so it's oh, gonna yeah. be uh, not just an awesome portraits. An awesome application I hadn't really thought of. I was so, so set on the shallow depth of field. I didn't, uh, I didn't really think about the astro, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit and reveal uh, to everybody that I actually have the 51 uh, here. Uh, we've had an opportunity to kind of play with this lens a little bit over the past uh, couple of days, and it is absolutely incredible. Um, it feels incredibly well built um, and, and certainly feels and performs a lot like the XF lenses that we've, in terms of the build quality and the construction that we've kind of come to expect from Fuji. Uh, can you tell us any more details on that? Do you have any of those details, Lewis, in terms of the build quality and things like that? Uh, so the build quality course, it's a premium glass throughout, uh, throughout the light path. Uh, Fujifilm has a great history, excellent history, uh, bringing optics uh, to the modern day zenith. Uh, so it's something that over 75 years, uh, that technology, technology, we're able to bring it from to the smaller glass something that they had from the past, from the cinema world and the broadcast world. So a lot of uh, experience on that design. Do we know what this lens is going to be selling for at all, or kind of a ballpark? Ballparks for the map pricing will be uh, $14.99.95. I think oh, it's well priced. Yeah. Uh, we surprising a lot of people for the price. I think a lot of people might have thought it would be a lot more because uh, of the premium we put in this. We definitely made it very small, for most, very affordable, especially for the professionals. Yeah, so given the aggressive price point, who would you say that this lens is kind of aimed at? Who's the ideal shooter of this lens? Uh, the ideal shooters, definitely the professionals, your ex photographers uh, who have experience with a heavier lens, uh, faster lens, to understand that short depth of field that you want that control. Um, since they have that experience, they're not in surprise, you know, controlling in a sh very short uh, depth of field. Uh, some folks might think it's out of focus, but it's just uh, somebody who has that experience controlling that short depth of field on their subjects. Um, could be, uh, you know, from photography to weddings, arterial photography. Um, so awesome. What about availability? When, when do you think we're going to start seeing these in, in stores? Uh, we should be seeing about end of September. So um, okay. end of September will be pretty soon, around the corner, as soon as you know. Yeah, it'll be there before, we'll be there before we know it. So. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, thanks so much, uh, Lewis, for being here. Um, thanks to Fuji for getting us one of these lenses to try out and yeah. uh, to have available. And if you have any other questions, feel free to stop by here in the store, um, shoot us an email or a text. Uh, we'd love to chat with you about the new uh, Fujifilm F1 amazing lens. Thanks again for being here, Lewis. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks.